Hi there, uh, Professor Joe Romani here talking about um, unique employee propositions. Um, now, I'm, I'm recording this because a lot of small consultancies make the same mistake. I'm, I'm currently going through a, uh, a job advert that a small consultancy is putting out uh, and asked me to look through it. And it, it's fine. But, um, you know, the job description is really good um, and, you know, very descriptive of what's going to happen. But that's not going to attract a, an employee to you. You've got to think when you're a consultancy, in the same way that you create a unique value proposition for your clients, it's actually more competitive to get employees than it is to, to attract clients. And you compete in two markets. One is for clients, but the other is for employees. And the more talent you can bring in, the greater assets you've got, the greater growth you're going to have, the higher quality of performance and all the rest of it. And also the happier you're going to be in terms of working with good people. So what do I mean by a unique employee proposition? I mean, the, the reasons why an ideal employee would come and work with you specifically, rather than a competitor firm or a bigger firm or a, uh, a lot, uh, you know, a, a firm that pays more. Um, and that is very much to do with your culture, um, you know, your values, um, how you communicate, what personalities you appreciate. And, you know, it might include other things. You might, you know, be a particularly innovative consultancy or you might do a lot of personal development or you might have a family atmosphere or it might be opportunities to grow something, to take ownership, to grow, you know, something new, to create something new. And all of these things will attract different people. So it's really worth thinking quite clearly about what it is that you are most proud of in your organization that will attract people, um, to, come, to attract the right people to come and work for you. It's relatively easy to attract anyone um, if you're not bothered about who they are, but especially in small consultancies, um, you've got to You've, you've got to really think about the type of person that you want to attract and frame your job adverts to appeal to them. Um, I could talk a lot more about this, but um, don't have time because I've got to get on with reading this job advert. Anyway, take care. Bye bye.